Why would I need a chatbot? We get that question pretty frequently, so here's a real world use case. Let's say that I need to connect to a network printer. I don't know exactly how to do it. I don't know where it's on the IT site, but I know they have this beautiful new communication site in SharePoint Online that has a bot called Ask IT. So I'm gonna tell Ask IT that I need to connect to a network printer and see if Ask IT can help. Well, the first thing that Ask IT is gonna do, it's gonna ask me which type of printer I wanna use, black and white or color. Let's say I'm cost conscious and I say black and white. It then is gonna ping Microsoft Graph, find out which office I'm in and confirm I wanna print in that office because hey, maybe I'm working in a different office or I'm printing to somebody in a different office. But it knows that I'm in New York, I will confirm that. It then is gonna give me an option of floors. And from there, it's going to list out every single black and white printer on floor seven in the New York office. It's pulling this information from a simple SharePoint list that includes all of the printers in all of the buildings. Now, it gives me the instructions, which is important, and if I need further information, I can actually click the link that's provided, but it's important to provide the actual instructions in the response. After a brief pause, Ask IT confirms whether or not I was successful. I'm gonna say yes, but had I said no, this would actually raise a ticket to a human who could actually help me out later on. But in the background, we've been secretly tracking this anyway, so we actually created a ticket as the first step we track this in ServiceNow so that IT can get both the metrics and the credit, even though this is automated. It automatically logs the description, opens the ticket, closes it when it's done, and you're good to go. So that's how you can use a chatbot to automate Tier 1 IT support to save you tons of time, resources, and frustration. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for some more great chatbot best practices.